Hey guys, what's going on? Petey here. Today we're going to be talking about the Grasshopper Scout. Uh, this thing is used to scout out as it's got 300 range. You can see, or 300 sight. You can see a lot of the battlefield with it. It's used a lot, and it's also used in scout swarms, which are pretty deadly early game before jets come out. So without further ado, let's get into the officers. First up, we have Wolfram Von Rich. Um, this guy is strictly a scout plane officer. He gives you plus 20% HP, 25 uh, aircraft, as well as some more sight. Um, pretty solid, only $10. If you're running an alt account, this guy's a must buy because that plus aircraft and HP is pretty big. Moving along, we have Hugh Dowding. He gives you some more aircraft, a little bit of move speed, a lot more sight, and uh, is only $20. Um, for this guy, if you're running a scout swarm, you can pick him up if you want to be really cool, but I don't think he's necessary. The bonus sight might be pretty nice. That'll put you up into like, man, plus 35%. You'll have like four or 500 sight with this guy. But anyways, um, next up is Henry H. Arnold. He's just the generic Air Force units. He'll give you some versus aircraft, um, some move, and additionally some sight. So... Pretty cool there. Next we have Abrams. This guy will give you plus 10% versus aircraft with your scout swarms or just scouts in general. And some move speed. Could be pretty cool. It's $40 though for an alt account. I think that's a little steep. Depends on what you want to spend. Next up we have Dwight David Eisenhower who gives a morale bonus and then plus 15% to all units. He, for $40 I would say pass on this one. It depends. I mean, scouts, typically the way you gain morale is by attacking things that don't attack you back. And with scout swarms, you're pretty much going for gigs and bombers and stuff like that. So it may be useful here, but that's up to you. And last and least is old Georgie. Plus 175 defense in ally or friendly territory. Um, nothing too crazy here. So without further ado, we're going to get into game. So now we're in game. Um, we're going to be looking at the airman tree. So scouts, um, right in tier one here, you get a minus 50% training and armament cost, which is really nice for the, for the alt accounts. They're really quick to make. You get plus 10% max health, minus 50% food and uh, f ammo and fuel, which is really cool because they can just sit in the sky for like 10 hours. And then a plus 50% attack versus air, which is obviously really nice. Next, we have all Air Force units getting plus 10% to all attack, and then plus 20% speed. So that's pretty cool. Double check that. So sadly, there's no scout upgrades for tier 2, and there is only one for tier 3, and it's the air unit slow to recover HP, which is really nice. And then I guess you can count this. You can get a minus 50% tactic cost to call in scouts um, more often, which is actually really good. But finally, tier 4, you have this one as well. Plus 10% versus air, armor, and buildings. And that's it. That's it for the scouts. Um, real quick, we're going to take a look at the battlefield tech before we roll out of here. So for scouts, you have two individual ones plus 10 percent hp and speed as well as plus 20 percent attack for tier one and then if you're running the airmen that you also get this plus seven percent all air units gain plus seven percent this tier four one does not work because the scout is not a fighter so that's it for scouts everything you need to know thanks for tuning in guys and we'll catch you in the next one Peace out. I don't